Hello everyone, greetings. Uh, you know, this is a, a wonderful time of the year when we, when we celebrate Christmas. We're celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ. And remember, there is no Christmas without Christ. And Jesus is the only reason for the season. That being said, you know, as much as we're celebrating the good time of Christmas, Christ is going to make a second return pretty soon. Well, you might say, well, why do you say that? Well, I'm not saying that. Let's look at what the Bible says. In 2 Timothy 3, it says from verse 1, But mark this, there will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiven, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power have nothing to do with such people. You know, look at what's going on in this world. And you might say, well, you know, this has been going on for a long time. There has been wars forever. There's been rumors of wars forever. There's been people being deceitful and treacherous and conceited and lovers of pleasures for a long time. And you know what? You're right. It's absolutely true. But... Look at the prevalence of it today. It just seems like it's taken uh, up uh, at warp speed. So all I'm saying is be prepared. Have your, be ready. You know, the Bible says that, that it, it, it's not his will that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. You know, when Christ came on this earth the first time, he came to make, create a pathway back to God the Father through his death, burial, and resurrection. So let's not take that for granted, please. I don't want to see anybody go to hell, whether I like you, dislike you, care for you, don't care for you. That's irrelevant. I don't want to see anyone go to hell, especially because of me, because of the way I live myself, because of the way I represent Christ, because when people see me or see you, you are a reflection of what Christ is. How you act, how you react, how you treat others. Those are all good things and that's what people see when they see us. They see, they see Christ through us. So we have to be living examples of how, what Christ is. So, you know, when Christ is going to return, only God the Father knows that. We don't. But God gave us some clues in the Bible, some signs to look for, and these are some of the signs. He also said that there will be wars and rumors of wars. Like I said, that's, that's been going on for a while. Those are little clues. But a big clue is that his word is going to have to be preached to every person on this earth. And the word has been going about and around at a warp speed because of the internet, especially now where because of the COVID-19, people have been locked in and most people have been attending church online and it's becoming easier and easier to minister to people worldwide, even in the most remote parts of the earth. You can get a Wi-Fi and you can minister to people in the jungles of Amazon or wherever. So be prepared, people. Be prepared. Have your heart clean. You know, there is one way back to God, and that is through Jesus Christ. It's only through the blood of Christ that we can go back to, the, to, to God the Father. Jesus says he is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him. So we have to accept him. And how do we accept him? It's pretty simple. It's a simple confession. Say, 
Lord Jesus, accept me. I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins and accept me back into your kingdom. Nothing more complicated than that. People think, you know, you can go and do good works and be a good person and that'll, that'll get you into heaven. No, that doesn't get you into heaven. Because what does the Bible also say? Not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercies, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and th through the Holy Spirit. So just remember that, that we can't save ourselves. Good works cannot save us. Only Jesus Christ can save us. So I implore you people, pay attention to what's going on around us in the world. Don't get caught up in all the minutia of all, all, all the nonsense that's going on through the media. Let our light shine. Live examples. Live as examples. So that when we take our last breath, we can say we did a good job for Jesus Christ. And please, you know, talk to your friends, talk to your families. Let them know that they are loved and that Jesus loves them. Thank you for, for listening to me.